FATA EPC is a division of FATA SPA, a Finn Mechanica company, a leading, diversified, industrial group of companies operating in the field of industrial plant, engineering, procurement and construction. Aluminium rolling mill plant will be located in the designated industrial area which is approximately 10 kilometers inland from the Sohar industrial port complex. The site selected is approximately 18 hectares. The project consists of building a turnkey greenfield casting and rolling plant adjacent to the existing Sohar aluminium smelter at Sohar. The plant will produce 140,000 tons a year of hot and cold rolled coils of various gauges and widths. The total covered area is about 35,000 square meters. Total installed power is 40 megawatt amperes. The tapping vehicles are coming from the smelter on 13 ton capacity crucible of liquid aluminium metal. Driving along the hot metal road entering the building to download the aluminium in the furnaces. The layout of the cast house is characterized by a back-to-back -back configuration of the furnaces. The cast house is composed of four melting holding furnaces with 70 ton capacity with cycles that produce 51 tons per hour stream of continuous liquid aluminium cast. Each furnace is subject to a production cycle having the following phases. Material charging, liquid and solid. Furnaces preparation alloying and metal treatment. The tilting of the furnaces will allow the metal to flow through the launder to the caster. To achieve the required quality at the caster, the molten metal is degassed and filtered along the line. Liquid metal is fed from the caster tundish between the two caster belts and solidifies in a continuous strip of metal. The sheet thickness will be either 16 mm or 19 mm with maximum cast width of 2032 mm and nominal casting rate of 51 tons per hour. Downstream, the caster pinch roll, the aluminium strip, generates a natural loop that by gravity feeds the entry pinch roll of the hot rolling mill. The movable shear is able to cut the strip and prepare the head for an easy threading into the mill stand. After the cut, the head of the strip is introduced into the rolls where the mill is ready for rolling and therefore reducing the strip thickness. The strip is reduced as it is entering the second stand for a further thickness reduction. Between the two stands, a looper roll is controlling the interstand tension. At the exit of the second stand, the thickness and profile of the strip is measured using two X-ray gauges. When necessary, the edges of the strip can be trimmed during rolling to take out the edges defects or cracks. At the end of the coil, without stopping the casting and rolling process, the strip is divided using a flying shear to separate tail and head and immediately a new coil is started, winding on the second down coiler mandrel. When a coil is completed, it is immediately transferred to a weighing and banding station, ready to be removed by the overhead crane. <laughs> 